It's a Brooklyn to Long Beach stand. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth, and today I'm gonna hit y'all with my thoughts on this new King Crooked and Joel Ortiz album titled Harvest City Season 1. So, King Crooked and Joel Ortiz are two veteran MCs known for their remarkable pen game. Now, most hip hop heads would acknowledge that. Both of these gentlemen uh, represent some of the best that hip hop has to offer when we are talking technical lyricism, but they check a lot of boxes when it comes to versatility as they are also uh, very accomplished storytellers who can make topically focused records. Now this project, Harbor City Season 1, is actually the second album from the duo in 2022 as they released their controversial uh, full-length debut the rise and fall of slaughterhouse earlier in the year but this brand new release is a conceptually themed one or should i say uh, more specifically an audio a drama series where the duo act is tour guides through this fictional city dubbed harbor city which represents the illest uh, grimiest and most dangerous parts of their respective hoods uh, long beach in Brooklyn. It's a longer project at about an hour and nine minutes with 24 tracks. Now, seven of them are skits uh, that do play a role in tying the story together, but in the interest of time, I won't cover them uh, for this review. So the production duties here are split between the following producers, Agony, DJ Silk, Hasami, The Heatmakers, and Fong Seiyu. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The first actual song is Heat Wave. It's a bold and punchy introduction uh, with the two rapping their asses off over a fast paced soul beat. It's a complete bar fest. Uh, the two definitely provide an ill back and forth flawless. King Crooked raps. Palm trees and the Statue of Liberty, the epitome of East meets West when we capture that energy. He also sets the record straight on their recent Slaughterhouse album with last album was last album. We off that shit. We here to murder everything. Dude let off that clip, wipe the fingerprints off the microphone and toss that shit. So as a whole, it was an explosive opener, you know, where the two flex their undeniable chemistry. Track three, Welcome to Harbor City has a chilly and piercing uh, string loop that sounded familiar but I couldn't quite place it. On this record, they highlight the ruthlessness and lawlessness of Harbor City, you know, the city of dreams that corrupted a lot of men. The hook goes pretty hard as they proclaim, we did it all out here. Christopher Wallace and Calvin brought us, we the big dogs out here. So we got a lot of clever and vivid imagery about their city on top of this icy beat. Right after is Energy, produced by Hasami, which samples a portion of the Scarface movie theme music uh, as well as an adaptation of the intro and outro on that classic Scarface album The Diary which some may not have picked up on but you know being a big Scarface head I definitely caught it but on here the two use a rhyme scheme involving the word energy uh, in which they creatively build their bars around the word it's a strong record that definitely gets its props uh, for the lyricism as well as the Scarface sample that I haven't heard many artists use in some time. After this, we get Drip Club, where the two paint a picture of the club life, except it's the type of club environment where the crooks and the stick-up kids dwell. It's an eerie and ghostly banger with Biggie scratches on the hook. King Crooked states, and we don't want to hear that pop rap. We timing out, rhyming about, street life, dudes surviving a drought. As a whole, I think this is a solid record, but there was something about the production that sounded like it belonged in the 2010s. Uh, now, perhaps that was intentional. Up next is the banger, Holy Water, produced by DJ Silk, who lends one of the better instrumentals. The off-kilter flute and trap drums are an attractive combo. On this record, they talk about being caught in a spiritual battle, uh, trying to live the righteous life, uh, but they're also forced to hustle for their daily bread. Joel Ortiz offers some vivid reflections on his past as a hustler, you know, waking up at six in the morning to slangs to the needy fiends uh, while ducking the DT. Then on track seven, vibrate higher. King Crooked and Joel a rap alongside AZ the Visualizer over a plush and airy Heatmakers beat. They all speak on their respective 
uh, come up and level ups. Uh, this is a rags to riches narrative. So you can miss them with all the bullshit uh, and the low vibrational energy. King Crooked had a razor sharp wear play and Joel had a strong voice as well, but I particularly dug uh, AZ's performance the most. I just liked his OG talk and jewel drop in uh, over this classy instrumental. Things do go in a darker and grittier direction for the following song, Brooklyn. It's a Joel RT solo with a grimy rock flavored beat from Hasami. Joel opens with the quote worthy lines. They say life is what you make of it. Brooklyn always taking it take off that nice Seiko watch uh, just for the sake of it. So these are some of the lines that instantly stood out to me. Uh, his wordplay just captured an ill visual. Joel also has a unique take on the gentrification in his own city of Brooklyn with gentrification shit, but it ain't changed a bit. What do restaurants and a high rise mean? Just more low key hustlers and high end fiends. But yeah, overall, uh, Doug how Joel painted a portrait of his hometown, you know, the wicked streets of Bucktown, uh, Crooklyn, or Brooknaw. The following track, Community Center, is a real highlight with its uh, charming and wholesome soul production from Hasami and Joel's thoughtful lyricism. It was here where Joel was able to reflect back on the benefits of having attended a community center while coming up. He talks about mentors who helped him stay on the straight and narrow even when he strayed. Joel raps, learned how to play pool from Mr. Turner. He took the time to teach a young boy how to shoot something that ain't a burner. My eight ball carried a different aura. Hitting them corner pockets stopped my broke pockets from hitting that corner. So just more remarkable wordplay that uh, had real meaning. Then King Crooked takes over with his solo Long Beach Boulevard. It's set to a loopy and feverish beat that was fun, but uh, easily one of my least favorites. Lyrically, King Crooked did his thing uh, as expected, but I was not uh, a big fan of this instrumental. The subsequent song Pawn Shop Jewelry is a standout that contains the same a uh, fly jazz sample that we heard on OC's Jules album and uh, Raekwon's Purple Tape 2. It's lavish and elegant production, this ideal uh, for their bars about glistening jewels, uh, you know, whether uh, diamond heists or the kind of gems that uh, can change your life. Afterwards is 9-11, which is an FU record to law enforcement. The two call out cops as being the biggest gang in America, whether it's the LAPD or the New York pricks and dicks. Conceptually and lyrically, I like this record, but I was not into uh, the chaotic and jarring instrumental. Uh, so as a result, I did not care for this one sonically. Check 15 one 800 get hard is actually a King Crooked skit. Uh, with some rapping, it's pretty entertaining but also very raunchy as he talks about fucking the rap game uh, but i did like at the end when the one guy said all my real guys throw on some drill music and drill that pussy track 17 don't forget about her is a stunning uh, storytelling song about a, a single woman who has been used and abused by society but Joel and King Crooked prove that they do care. It is also here where the two show off their, you know, storytelling abilities and offer up some of their most poignant lyricism on the project. I particularly dug the pitched uh, soul sample courtesy of the heat makers as well as the soulful hook from Black Soul. Check 18 is the Nah Dead Ass Yo commercial skit, but I'm mentioning it since Joel does sort of rap over this mellow and twinkling production. There was something about several of these skits that did give off that red man um, Death Squad feel due to the outlandish and sillier themes. But following this is the grim and haunting dead body where, you know, the duo paint a gruesome visual of corpses over a ghostly heatmaker's beat. We get stellar storytelling from Joel Ortiz who compares uh, his deadbeat dad to that of a corpse because he wasn't there. Uh, whereas King Crooked talks about uh, actual death that surrounds him on the daily, whether it's family, friends, or dead rappers. Now, Song 21 Underground might contain my favorite Heatmakers beat of the batch, uh, the hazy 
Vocal sample is spectacular and puts one in the frame of mind of New York blocks on a warm summer evening. It's another Joel solo where he gives us a rich and vivid account of uh, the old New York, whether it's the smell of crack smoke or a uh, homeless man or just simply hopping the turnstile. It was all a part of his world, you know, coming up out of the underground. Then there is Ocean Terminal, which has an elegant and chic Heatmaker's instrumental. We also get some semi-spoken words slash rapping from Lynn manuel uh, Miranda. But here, Joel and King Crooked uh, provide grown man bars about coming of age and pursuing one's dreams. And there is some wise and uh, profound storytelling here as they talk about uh, this location that serves as a place where lost dreams can be found again. Then the album wraps up with Game Over. It's a hard-hitting closer that ends the album with the same intensity that it began. King Crooked and Joel strongly urge folks not to visit uh, Harbor City and they also reflect on the current state of the rap game. Overall, I give this project a rating of a strong three and a half to four mics. Now, in terms of the lyrics, I would rate this a four and a half, uh, while the production was a consistent three and a half throughout for me. I do think that the duo succeeded in making this project very cinematic. Now, I didn't necessarily love all the skits equally, uh, but they definitely played a role in piecing uh, you know, the story together and giving it some continuity. Obviously, both Crooked Eye and Joel uh, scorched these tracks lyrically and left the microphones dented. Uh, not only did we get a lot of lyrical wizardry and verbal gymnastics on here, uh, but there were definitely uh, creative conceptual songs that had real meaning. So I feel they covered all bases on the lyrical front. You know, if you are a big fan of bars at the end of the day, there were a lot of uh, quotables to unpack. Now, as far as the production was concerned, I will say there was enough variety throughout and out of the uh, contributing producers, I feel the heat makers and Hisami provided the most attractive beats uh, for my ears. I can't say that I enjoyed the production in its entirety as much as what they had on their hard EP uh, or even Joel's uh, The Autograph album, but the instrumentals here were good to serviceable. Uh, some definitely caught my attention right away. But at the end of the day, it's a strong offering that continues to show what a formidable and dynamic duo uh, these guys have become and how they are able to pump out solid bodies of work in under a year's time. My favorite tracks include Heat Wave, Energy, Holy Water, Vibrate Higher, Brooklyn, Community Center, Pawn Shop Jewelry, Don't Forget About Our Underground, and uh, Ocean Terminal. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moff. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Joel Ortiz, King Crooked, Harbor City, Season 1, 1.